Hey guys, I'm here for my October wrap up and um, I don't actually know how many books I read. Um, I didn't count them, but I did read uh, two ebooks. So um, one of them is Into the Still Blue by Veronica Rossi, and this is the last one in her Under the Never Sky trilogy. And I really liked this ending, it was really solid and really. Um, it just like wrapped everything up together so I really like this one I think it was the best one out of the trilogy so make sure to check that one out I think it comes out next year though I also read um, Indeliable by Don Metcalf, Metcalf and um, I wanted to say that this one was a little um, different and it's not bad in a way, it's just I wasn't really invested and interested in the characters, so I actually did not finish this one, so this is a DNF for me. Um, I did also give that book away, so um, I actually don't know what happens in the end, but for some reason I didn't really care. So um, yeah, if you guys have read it but you loved it, just let me know why, so maybe I can pick it up again. Um, I also read The Diviners by Libba Bray, and this is huge. Um, I've had this sitting on my bookcase for a while now. Um, this was quite a big read, and I wanted to say it was really creepy. There was certain parts in this one that made me um, restless to sleep at night just because it was um, giving me images of things that I didn't really want to see. So, um... Basically, we have our main character, Evie, and she is um, this flapper girl, um, 1920s, obviously, and there are people being murdered, and it's all, like, sinister, and she stumbles upon um, trying to solve the case um, with her uncle. So she doesn't even realize that she's actually a diviner and she can she's actually like psychic so it's a little like paranormal aspect as well um i thought it was really long um not a lot happens in the first half of the book so i just find that it was like pushed all the way into the end like all the action and the mystery and the murder mystery was in the end but um it was a really good read she writes really well and yeah i can't wait to read the next one and since um, I have a poll on my blog, um, everyone was wanting me to read the Vampire Academy series, so I have them all here, except the third and the f last book. I actually didn't have those ones, so I have Vampire Academy, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> um, Spare Bound, they're not in order, but everyone should know they're in order, um, Blood Promise. And this is the Frostbite, so this isn't, I don't even know, this is like the library book, but, um, I don't know, it's gonna fall. Anyway, um, I really loved this series, like, I thought the first one, um, our main character, what's her name again? Oh, is it Rose? It's Rose, right? So it's Rose, and she, to me, I thought that she was very arrogant, but, um, I was really happy when her character changed and she became responsible and she started, you know, protecting her friends and herself and everyone around that she loves. So, um, I thought it was a really good vampire book and yeah, I know vampires are so overrated, but, um, since everyone was like telling me to read it, I really loved it. I loved, um, what's his the name? I'm so bad with names. Um, the main, the main guy, uh, Dimitri, I was going to say Tobias, whoops, sorry, wrong character, <laughs> Dimitri, um, I thought he was really complex, so their love re relationship was so strong, um, I thought it was a really good series, and if you guys haven't read it, please do, because I want to know, I want to add more vampire fans so yeah that is my um mini review i'm not gonna write reviews for these ones just because there's so many of them but um i did overall like the series so i also read fuse by juliana baggett and this is the second book um her first one is pure and this is a uh, a world where basically it was um i want to say world war three erupted and there was excuse me, an atomic blast and people started fusing with objects around them and when I say objects, not even just like let's say I was reading a book and it'd be fused to my, my body and it'd still be alive. 
but I'm also saying things like maybe your brother or your sister was a fuse to yourself so like it was it's really really strange but um I I liked this one it was a solid read and I know that there was a lot of um point of views but I didn't really mind it so much just because I got used to it but yeah this one was really epic quest because right now she is trying to find um a way to stop sorry um stop the i want to say the not the wretches but the others because you know there's like the bad people fighting so um i thought it was really interesting and I also like that the love story wasn't such a main focus, even though um, Pressa was completely in love with someone. So yeah, uh, that is Fuse. I think that's an adult book, just so you know, if you're gonna try to find it. This is Through the Evernight by Miranda Karasi. Whoops, this is the second one. Um, so I binge re read through all of the books. Um, I actually don't remember what happens in this one. Um, Oh yeah. So basically this is like the filler book I want to say. Um, it did um, answer some questions but I still like the strong finish to Into the Cell Blue. Um, and this is still in the point of view of um, Ar Ar Aria and Perry. Is that how you say her name? Aria? Um, so I don't remember what happened to this book. I am drawing a blank. Oh my god. But yeah, I might have to reread it or skim through the pages. But I think I like the other one better, the last book. Then I also read still Star Crossed by Melinda Taub. And this is a retelling, well not a retelling, but um this is what would happen if Romeo and Juliet, like the aftermath. So it's in the point of view of Rosalind and um what's his name? Bonvolio. So both Capulet and Montague as well. Um, I thought it was a really strong book, but um, I just I thought there would be more intrigue to this one. She could have made it a lot more mysterious as well. And the Shakespearean language was still stuck in this book, so I had a little bit of trouble trying to remember what um, the words were. So things like, you know, um, thou wouldst grace me with a dance. like. Shakespearean language so it's a little hard to read but she did her research really well so I thought this was a pretty good read. Um, I gave this one a three. And then okay I want to say that this book Dangerous Girls by Abigail has is blew me away just because it surprised me so much at the twist and I knew kind of knew it was coming I didn't want it to come, but I suspected it all along. So this is a book that um, makes you think. Um, basically, Anna, our main character, her best friend dies, and they want to know who the murderer is. The main suspect is Anna. So there's all of these like usual suspects, and it goes back and forth between their friendship and the present to the trial, and you just see so much it's just crazy but I have to say that there are clues to who the murderer is and it is a really good book I thought this was really good and and I'm so glad it surprised me so this is Dangerous Girls I know the cover isn't that great but it is a good mystery th thriller I think I gave that one a four and then here's another one Shadows by Paula Weston um this was another angel book and I thought it was a pretty strong one um I want to kind of compare it to the um what's that series called by Jessica Sherrington I want to say Embrace series um I want to compare it to that book because this character is very a uh, very strong and she doesn't want to like you don't want to mess with her kind of thing and I thought it was a strong start to a series and um, this cover isn't as pretty as, you know, as most books, but it's still, you know, it still gives a, that kind of intrigue. Um, I liked the character Maggie, and yeah, the main characters, there is a lot, and the chapters are pretty short. I actually read through this really quickly, um, I just wanted a little bit more action, so 
I think I gave this a three. Not sure. And Allegiant. Um, everyone's been talking about this. Um, everyone was crazy, upset, or they loved it. I was in the middle. Um, I neither hated it or loved it, but I can understand why Veronica did what she did. Um, answers, I mean, questions are finally answered from everyone's, um, you know, what everyone's trying to wonder why this happened. How the world came to be is finally answered in this and why. So the government, um, I want to say the government retaliation, the society, the, and why the faction based society is answered in this book. Um, it was a solid ending. Um, I can understand, like I said, I can understand why she did it. And it still saddens me, but yeah, it's over. And I actually am excited for the movie release. Um, what I also remember from this book is that, um, you know, Tris, Tris is still as strong as ever, but we also see Tobias's side, and I thought that he was a lot more vulnerable in this one, so I really liked that aspect, that he wasn't always a, that strong, tough exterior. You can see how broken he is in this one, so um, enjoy, you guys, this one. Um, I gave this one a three, so... Yeah, even though the cover's so pretty. So yeah, that is it for me for this um, last month. Sorry, it's already November. Last month's um, wrap up. So I will see you guys all next month. Bye, guys.